This is a quick update for April 2023. There have been a couple of newly published studies that I believe are important enough to put out a new video because they prove like all LASIK clinical trials and so many previous studies that LASIK surgeons are not telling the truth about LASIK complications. They keep saying that the LASIK complication rate is less than 1%. Keep that in mind as you hear about the rates of problems after LASIK in these two studies. I'll provide a link to the abstract of both studies in the description below. Some of the details I'm going to talk about can only be found in the full text, but unless you have a subscription to the two journals or some other access like through a university or a hospital, you'll have to pay for a copy of the full text. And in case you're wondering, I'm recording on my phone here, but I'm reading from my computer screen, so that's why I'm not looking at the camera. Okay, so let's talk about the studies. The first study we're going to talk about is ocular pain after refractive surgery, interim analysis of frequency and risk factors. So this was a prospective study by academic researchers. Uh, the participants rated their ocular pain after LASIK or PRK on a 0 to 10 numerical rating scale before surgery and at one day, three months, and six months after surgery. Persistent ocular pain was defined as a score of greater than or equal to 3 at both the 3 and 6 month post-surgery follow-up visit. They uh, enrolled 109 individuals who underwent LASIK or PRK, 87% were LASIK and 13% were PRK, and they followed these patients for six months. The frequency of ocular pain at three months was 23%, and at six months, 24%. 11% reported pain at both the three and six month time points, and those 11% were defined as having persistent pain after refractive surgery. But 27 individuals, 25%, had a score of greater than or equal to three at some time point, three or six months after the surgery, but not at both. And artificial tear use increased after the surgery, as you would expect, uh, it was 65% at six months after the surgery. So I remember when I had LASIK, I was told I would need to use eye drops for two weeks. And in this study, 65%, two thirds, are still using eye drops six months later. So in summary, these researchers found that 11% of individuals reported persistent ocular pain after LASIK or PRK at both three and six months after surgery. Remember, LASIK surgeons claim the complication rate is less than 1%, yet this study found a 24% frequency of pain at six months after LASIK and 11% of patients reported persistent pain at both three and six months after surgery. Now let's talk about the other study. This study is titled Patient Reported Outcomes with Wavefront Guided LASIK Study Outcomes from a Single Institution. The institution is Stanford University School of Medicine. Uh, that was one of five institutions selected by the FDA to participate in a larger LASIK study. I'm now reading from the full text. In our cohort of patients, 95.1% reported that they were completely satisfied, very satisfied, or somewhat satisfied at both the post-operative month one and three visits. The reason I mention this is because LASIK surgeons, when they're trying to sell LASIK, they like to talk about patient satisfaction as if that has anything to do with safety. 
But next time you hear satisfaction ratings, remember that some of these patients are only somewhat satisfied. In other words, they're not thrilled with this surgery. They're probably disappointed or upset about something. Something did not go as expected. So they didn't give us a breakdown of what percentage were only somewhat satisfied. They like to lump them all together and call it satisfied. A total of 42.6% and 32.8% of patients selected yes when asked if there were new problems with their eyes after LASIK surgery at post-operative months one and three respectively. 32% of patients at three months reported new problems with their eyes at three months. In addition, when asked if there were any new problems and if any of these problems or limitations affected the quality of their life, 34.6 and 25% of patients reported that their quality of life was worse at post-operative months one and three. 25% at three months reported that their quality of life was worse because of LASIK. The authors go on to state that uh, patients were overall, overall had worse dry eye three months after surgery. Patients report a, reported a significant increase in halos and double images after surgery. Now let me jump over to a table that provides a breakdown of the visual symptoms, the new, uh, new visual symptoms at three months after surgery. Double vision, 4.9%, glare, 18%, halo, 32.8%, starburst, 18%. Those are shocking numbers. More than one third of patients felt that they had worse quality of vision after LASIK surgery at postoperative month one, and nearly half of patients reported new problems with their eyes affecting activities. So let's summarize these studies. A high quality prospective study by academic researchers found that eye pain was reported by 24% of individuals at six months and 11% reported persistent pain at both the three and six month post-op visit. Another study at a prestigious eye clinic, Stanford, um, using the latest technology found that at three months after LASIK, 32.8% of patients reported new problems with their eyes. 25% reported that their quality of life was worse, and overall they reported worse dry eyes. I wonder why they didn't report the actual percentage with worse dry eyes. Hmm. So I hope you can see that LASIK surgeons are not telling the truth. The less than 1% complication rate is a complete fabrication. And the reason that they're not telling the truth is they're trying to sell a harmful, unnecessary surgery that nobody in their right mind would have if they truly understood the risk. You only have one pair of eyes. Play it safe. Just keep your glasses.